Hello everyone, my name is Petra. Welcome to our 40-minute yin yoga practice. But before we begin our meditation, let's take a moment to understand what yin yoga is about. In our yin yoga practice today, we will be holding each pose for about three minutes. This slow-paced style of yoga allows us to target the connective tissues such as ligaments, joints and fascia rather than the muscles. By holding poses for longer durations, we help to increase circulation in the joints and improve flexibility. So yin yoga also encourages a meditative state promoting a deeper connection between our mind and our body. We will start in a short three-minute meditation to center ourselves and prepare for the session. So go ahead, find a comfortable seated position, either on your yoga mat or you can sit on a cushion, allowing your spine to lengthen and gently close your eyes. Now let's take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale slowly through your mouth. Feel the connection between your body and the ground. Imagine roots growing from your sit bones, anchoring you to the earth. Bring your attention to your breath. Notice the natural rhythm without trying to change it. As you inhale, feel your chest, your abdomen expand. And as you exhale, feel them soften. And with each breath, allow yourself to become more present in this moment. Now starting from the top of your head, slowly scan down your body. And notice any areas of tension or discomfort. With each exhale, just imagine releasing the tension, allowing those areas to relax and soften. And continue this gentle scan until you reach your toes, releasing any remaining tension. As we prepare to move into our yin yoga practice, take one more deep cleansing breath in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. And gently open your eyes, bringing awareness back to your surroundings. Carry this sense of calm and understanding with you as we begin our practice. So let's begin our session in a butterfly pose, Baddha Konasana. 
Bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall out to the sides. So for sitting nice and tall, relax your shoulders down from the ears, relax your facial muscles. Let's take an inhale as you circle your arms up towards the sky to lengthen through the spine. And as you exhale, slowly release into a seated forward fold. So you can bring your hands down, maybe you can release onto your elbows. Relax your head down, you can round through your shoulders, your upper back. And just allow your whole torso to feel heavy, relaxing with each breath out a little bit more. We will be holding this pose for about three minutes. Throughout the session, I will read you some quotes to help deepen your relaxation and reflection. So our first quote, the quieter you become, the more you can hear. Slowly start lifting, rolling your spine all the way back up. Our next pose, half dragonfly. So extend your right leg out to the side and bring the sole of your left foot to your inner thigh. And take an inhale, you can circle your arms up. And as you exhale, forward, forward, gently over your right leg. Peace is not found in a calmer storm. It's found in a better boat.
If you are ready, you can slowly start moving out of the pose. And we will add on side body stretch. So once you are ready, as you breathe in, stretch your left arm up and overhead, right and sliding down your leg to stretch through the left side of your body, allowing your head to release down towards your right shoulder. Let me read you quote. Life is a balance of holding on and letting go. Just, just try to let go, releasing any tension, any stress. Just letting go, breathe it out. One more cycle of breath. You mm, can go ahead, slowly start rising back up. And we will switch legs. So let's extend your left leg out to the side and bring the sole of your right foot to your inner thigh. Breathing in. And as you breathe out, coming into forward fold, gently releasing your torso over your left leg. And again, about three minutes here, holding the pose. I'll quote, let go of the control and allow the universe to take over.
Mm, take your time slowly, moving out, rolling your spine all the way back up. And we will add on our lighter stretch on this side. So reaching your right arm up and overhead. Relaxing into our side body stretch. A few nice and deep breaths here. Once you are ready, coming out of the pose. Let's bring your both legs out in front of you. Feel free to shake your legs out. And go ahead, take your time slowly. Bring yourself onto your hands and knees. Tabletop position. Now, as you breathe in, slowly start lifting your sit bones, relax your belly, open through your chest and shoulders, your cow. And as you breathe out, slowly start rounding through the spine, relax your head down. And again, breathing in, gently opening the front line of your body, lift your gaze. And a slow breath out to stretch through the whole spine, through your back body. And let's flow this one more time. Breathing in, cow. And breathing out, your cat. Beautiful. Our next pose is child's pose. So go ahead, open your knees as wide as your yoga mat. Relax your hips towards your heels. Extend your arms out in front of you and gently rest your forehead on your yoga mat. Feel free to bend your elbows. You can relax and soften your shoulders, your chest, your abdominal muscles. And again, using gravity to do the work here. So as you breathe here and then just holding the pose, relaxing, softening the whole body. Let me read you our next quote. Within you, there is a stillness and a sanctuary to which you can retreat at any time and be yourself.
And if you are ready, we will slowly start moving out from our child's pose and preparing for Sphinx. So go ahead, please take your time, lower yourself down onto your belly and come up onto your forearms. Bringing your elbows either underneath the shoulders or a little bit in front of the shoulders. Relax your lower back and just allow your chest to open. Relax your legs. You can keep your legs as wide as your hips or a little bit wider. More quote. Relaxation means releasing all concerns and tension and letting the natural order of life flow through one's being. Enjoy the pose. And once you are ready, let's take all together one more breath. Breathing in, belly, chest expanding. Slowly releasing the breath out. You can go ahead, take your time, bringing yourself back onto your hands and knees, tabletop position. From our tabletop position, coming into a downward facing dog, just stretching out through your whole body. So feel free to add on into your down dog. You can pedal it out, bending one knee at a time, relaxing your head, lengthening through the spine. You can look towards your feet and gently press your chest towards your thighs. Let's find stillness so you can gently ground through both heels, straightening the legs any amount that feels comfortable. Let's take a big breath in through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. With your next breath in, slowly start lifting your right leg up, preparing for our pigeon pose or sleeping swan. So lifting your right leg, feel free to open into scorpion. So bend your right knee, externally open through your right hip. And gently pull your right heel towards your glutes. Coming back, three-legged down dog. So lift your right leg up and out. And then start bending your right knee, bring your right knee forward and towards your right wrist. Release it down and extend your left leg back, lowering your hips towards the mat. 
So first lift yourself coming up onto your fingertips, finding a nice long spine and take a moment to level your hips, bringing your right hip in line with the left. Then with your next exhalation, slowly release into forward fold, resting your forehead on your hands or on your yoga mat. Our quote, sometimes the most productive thing you can do is relax. And if you are ready, using your hands, bring yourself back up. Let's tuck your left toes under so you can lift your right leg into three-legged down dog. Feel free to shake it out as we bend right knee, we extend our right leg a couple of times. And you can release your right foot back down, downward facing dog. And just take a second here to notice how your right side feels comparing the left. And if you are ready, let's do the left side. So lifting your left leg as you breathe in, opening through your left hip, finding your scorpion. Try to ground through your right foot your heel, keep opening externally, rotating your left hip. re-extend your left leg and slowly start bringing your left knee forward and down into our sleeping swan of this side half pigeon and take a moment first to square and level your hips forward coming up onto your fingertips so finding a nice long spine and as you exhale slowly release folding your torso forward resting your forehead either on your hands or on the mat. And I'll quote, to the mind that is still, the whole universe surrenders. Let's surrender into this pose.
And if you are ready, slowly using your hands, bring yourself back up. Tucking your right toes under so you can lift your left leg up and back again. You can shake it out. Bend and extend your left leg a couple of times. You can release your left foot back down into our down dog. Let's take one more nice big breath in. And exhale with a sigh. And carefully drop your knees down, coming onto your hands and knees and making your way onto your back. Now let's bend to your knees, lift your feet and gently pull your knees towards your chest. You can start rocking side to side, giving your back a little massage. Once you're ready, we will do reclining twist. So opening your arms into your T-shape. And then as you breathe out, slowly allow your knees, your thighs to fall to the right while keeping your shoulders on the mat. And again, we will switch sides after three minutes. And our next quote within you, there is a stillness and sanctuary to which you can retreat at any time and be yourself. You can slowly start bringing your knees back up. Gently squeeze your knees towards your chest. Your feet to again start rocking a little bit side to side. And once you're ready, you can slowly release your knees to the left. Feel free to open your arms again into your T-shape or you can open your arms into your cactus. And let me read you a quote. Within you there is a stillness and a sanctuary to which you can retreat at any time and be yourself.
You can guide your knee slowly back up. You can squeeze your knees one last time. So let's prepare for our final resting pose, Shavasana. We're extending your legs out long. You can rest your arms by your sides, palms facing up. Close your eyes and just allow your whole body to completely relax You can slowly start bring your awareness back to your body, to the present moment. Start wiggling your fingers and toes, circling your wrists, your ankles. And then slowly roll to the one side in a fetal position. When you feel ready, press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. And let's take one final deep breath together, inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. You can gently open your eyes. Take a moment to give thanks to yourself for taking this time for your practice today. I hope you feel more relaxed and centered and you will have a wonderful rest of your day. Namaste.